Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm excited to have you guys here with me. So, we got some cool stuff happening today as usual. As you can see, I have a blank face, so you know what that means. We're trying out some new products, and I'm super psyched because I got some stuff that, um, really a lot of people have been saying is really good and I wanted to try it out for myself and for you guys to see if it really is something great. Um, drugstore, of course, because you know we love a bargain here on this channel, right? <laughs> so I'm excited to try this out. We're gonna be doing um, a lot of Rimmel stuff, which I feel like a lot of times people skip over Rimmel and they are such a good brand and they really have a lot of good stuff and I threw in um, a few other brands like Wet n Wild, things like that, but it's mostly going to be Rimmel today. So if you're excited to see what we've got going on, if the products work, we're gonna be doing a really cute, purpley spring look today. So if you like purple, girl, this is where it's at. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell right there so you can get notified of all my future videos because we got some cool stuff coming up. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So, first and foremost, we gotta start with a primer, right? So, I told you guys in my last video, I've been trying out the um, Milani Prep and Brighten Drops, the e.l.f. Brightening Primer, and I'm absolutely loving it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on the Milani um, Prep and Brighten Drops, the rose ones. First, and then I'm going to go in with the primer from Rimmel that I had bought. Super exciting. Honestly, with my Peter Thomas Roth um, brightening cleanser and the e.l.f. brightener, I have already seen such a difference in my under eyes as far as brightening goes. Like my face is getting like that overall um, like same tone and color and I'm really really excited about that like my under eyes are so much lighter than they were which is amazing because I always struggled with really dark under eyes so I'm excited that I can naturally bring them up a few um, colors and really get that even skin tone so we got those on which I love so let's go on to this primer we're gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Makeup Primer. This is supposed to do shine controlling, pore minimizing, hydrating feel, and smooths skin. So that's a lot of claims, girlfriend. So I hope you can see with my light. Yes, there you go. This is what it looks like. I got this from CVS. I like that this is a matte um, primer and that it does um, pore minimizing and I can feel that it's going to be pore min minimizing because just from this dab on my face it's like a little bit of a thicker doesn't smell like anything which is good no fragrance um, it's a thicker consistency and it has that same consistency as the Maybelline baby skin like a little bit of silicone -y, but mostly hydrating I like this and you know that because we have the summer months coming and it's gonna be super hot and super sunny, which I'm excited about, but we need to find things that are gonna keep that shine control down, keep us matte so we can keep our makeup on all day long, even through sweating, being in the sun, working out, all those good things that we do, right? So I really like this. It feels really good on the skin. I can already see such a difference in my skin. It's definitely more hydrated. I'm kind of breaking out, so don't mind that. But I can see, I have like really big pores in these areas right here. And this primer has already like closed them up. That's amazing. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Oh my God. Guys, this is awesome. So far, so good. I'm excited to see if it really does the shine control 
and that it keeps the skin smooth throughout the day. But as far as hydrating and um, minimizing the pores, it definitely states that and it definitely does that. So, so far it's so good with that. Um, all right, so let's move right along. We've got today the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour, a long time, 25 hour breathable long wear foundation. So this is high definition finish, medium coverage. And I know that sometimes in the summertime, in the spring, yes, I'm a full coverage girl, I love that. But we need a medium to full coverage because like when it's really hot and stuff and sunny, you can see everything on the face. So you don't wanna be cakey and have a lot of layers. You know, you wanna have just the right amount. Ooh, oh, I didn't even show you guys what this looks like. So this is what it looks like, just like this. It has the silver cap. It was like $7.99, something like crazy cheap. We've got a doe foot applicator, which I love. I hate having to put my um, hands on the foundation like and ruin, get it everywhere. So I like that I can just apply. So we'll start with one pull from the bottle and then we'll add more if we need more. And I got the color, what did I get? 300 sand. And they had actually a lot of colors. So I was happy to see that they had a really big amount of um, like shade range. Like a lot of choices for shade range. So that was really good. All right, so we're gonna be using our Real Techniques foundation brush. I hope this color looks good with my self tan. Ooh, it smells really good. Usually foundation has like that, um, like, you know, product smell. And this smells like really good. All right, so it's a blending very nicely. Wow. Wow. That looks beautiful. Do you guys see this foundation? <gasps> it's like so light. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin, which it does say breathable, so I definitely agree with that. This was a one pull from the bottle. Using this brush, I don't know how um, much coverage you would get if you use a wet beauty blender because it is going to be a little less coverage when you use a beauty blender because it pulls the product. But using the brush, you know, doing your circular motions, spreading it out and then stippling so that you blend it very nicely. This looks so smooth. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The color was perfect. It definitely covered up a lot of my blemishes I had. So it's a more on the full coverage side rather than medium. So I like that. But I really think this color was perfect. This looks freaking awesome. All right guys, another foundation in the books. I really, really like this. So we're gonna have to see if it stays all day. Does it come off when I'm sweating? So I'm really excited to see how it lasts throughout the day, but so far, so good. I'm, I'm gonna have to give this, as of right now, first impression, A plus, all the way. I love the way my face looks like I don't even have makeup on. It's super breathable, it feels good. It doesn't feel like I have any makeup on, and it really left a gorgeous coverage. It's definitely a, um, like a demi-matte. Like, it's more of a matte foundation, but remember we used the Stay Matte um, Primer, so it's going to make the foundation a little more on the matte side. But it's definitely still giving like a pretty dewy look. So it's like a satin matte, I would say. Um, but it really looks gorgeous. So I'm, I'm really liking that. Let me go wet my Beauty Blender, because I totally forgot. And then we're gonna go and put on the Stay Matte from Rimmel. The Soft Matte Concealer. This is full coverage, cause girl, you know I need my full coverage underneath my eyes. And I got the color 011 Porcelain. So it just looks like this. Regular like concealer look, little bottle. I like the purple. And then the doe foot. 
is a little bit on the skinnier side and smaller. I'm so used to the Too Faced um, Super Coverage with the big doe foot, but I mean, what matters is the product and if it's full coverage and if it creases and things like that rather than what the doe foot looks like, right? So I'm excited to try that out. Let me wet my beauty blender and I'll be All right, right. So I wet the Real Techniques sponge, which I'm absolutely loving right now. If you haven't noticed, I'm loving like Real Techniques everything. I think they're the next best thing from Beauty Blender. But I found this e.l.f. cleanser. It's daily brush cleanser and for your um, sponges as well. It's super easy. It looks like this. It was like literally five bucks from CVS. I'm loving this. All you do is spray the product on your brushes. Like I would spray it right onto here, massage it in, and then I let it air dry. And then like with these, you just spray, massage it in, let it air dry. And it kills the bacteria, it keeps it clean, it purifies, detoxifies. Like it's really great to keep up with your um, brushes and your um, sponges guys it's so important to keep them clean because you're putting this stuff on your face you don't want to put bacteria and then it gets infected and you break out and it's just a whole whirlwind of shit so we don't want that right <laughs> all right guys so up next let's do our concealer I hope this color is good oh yeah your girl's gonna be super Super bright under the eyes today. I'm down with that. So it's a definitely a like um like a stickier formula for sure. Like it's not just blending super easy when I put it under the eye. Like it's more sticky and I have to like where I place the doe foot, like that's where it goes. Like it's harder to move this um, product around, which I'm not hating. Could be a good thing or a bad thing, so we don't know yet, right? I really am liking this. So it definitely, I hope my lighting is good for you guys. It definitely left a nice brightening effect because of how much lighter I went with the color. Remember, this is sand, my foundation, and this is porcelain, so it's a very big difference. Um, but the formula was really easy to blend out. It definitely is full coverage, um, so it's like perfect. Um, I'm really, really liking this. It's definitely full coverage. I really like the way it blends out. It was super easy with the Beauty Blender to blend. It's not sticking places. It is a stickier consistency as far as the formula goes, but it doesn't make it harder to blend or anything like that. I like the way it looks. It's giving like a really pretty satin finish. So it looks really nice under the eyes and it's definitely brightening them up. I can't wait to see how it looks once I set with powder and we see what it looks like there. So I'm going to just set with my Airspun face powder because when I was at CVS, they actually did not have any of the translucent stain matte um, loose powder in Rimmel. So I said, whatever, I'll just use the air sponge um, because it's not new. I'll do it off camera to save time. So I'm going to set my face with that and I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define to cream contour the face. So I'll put that on here and then I will set off camera. All right, girl, snatched. And I have this one in C14. I'm loving the Makeup Revolution concealers and cream contours, by the way. So I'm just gonna blend that out, set the base, and then we'll continue. All right, so now that we've finished 
setting the face, finishing our cream contour, which looks absolutely gorgeous. I went ahead and rehydrated my face and I just sprayed some of the Smashbox primer water. And as you can see, I haven't used much at all. So this is like perfect size. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I got for the eyes. So we're gonna be trying out the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Thick and Thin Eyeliner. This is slanted felt tip up to 24 hours and you get two in one. So this is what it looks like. Let's try opening it up. So this is supposed to be a dense black pigment for color intensity that lasts all day. Um, two in one felt tip liner for a customized look. You got waterproof, smudge proof, tear proof, sweat proof, heat proof, humidity proof. Uh, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. And always treat applicator with the same sanitary care you give your eyes. Reserve it for personal use. And blah, blah, blah. So let's see. Open this up. I'm excited. So you know how we're looking for that spring and summer stuff. Smudge proof, sweat proof, humidity proof. This is where it's at. Let's see if it works good. So opening it up. So it's very thin top, but if you did from the side, you could make a thicker line or you can do it straight like a pen down on this, like on the point slant of it, and you could make a thinner line. So that's what they mean by two in one because this shape allows you to do both. So we're gonna try that baby out. And then we've got the, so we're gonna be trying that out. And then I got us the Brow This Way Fiber Pencil from Rimmel. And I got the color, oh, medium, O2 medium. So it's just a regular pencil, but I thought, hey, why not? I wanted to see what they had going on as far as their brow products. So it's just regular pencil with a point that obviously we would have to sharpen, things like that. You guys know that I'm absolutely loving my Milani pomade right now but I'm always down to find out, you know, other, product, other products, other brands, if they got some good stuff working out too. I've tried one other pencil like this. I think it was um, Wet n Wild, and I really didn't like it. So I'm excited to see the formula on this one and how that works. As far as eyeshadow, really exciting, guys. So remember I said we're doing purpley today, right? For that spring um, looks coming at you. So I'm excited about this one. So I got the Magnifies Electric Violet Edition from Rimmel. So we're trying this baby out today. Look at these gorgeous colors. I love it, they give you like lilacs, a little bit more pinky purple. You got your blue here, you got your light like silvery um, purple. You even got this really like deep, deep black um, in there as well. But I love that it's a mix of shimmers and mattes so you can do your entire eye look with this one palette. And this was $8.99. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. Twelve shadows for $8.99. I think that's pretty damn good. Um, so we're gonna be trying that out as well on the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get started. The only thing I noticed though with these, this is them open. Look at how beautiful. They don't give you a pencil, which I think it's supposed to come with a pencil because it has the spot for it, but whatever. So I'm already prepped and primed because I used the concealer on the eyelids as well and then I set it with the Airspun Loose Powder, which I'm absolutely loving. So let's go in. We're gonna be using my new favorite, the Sonia Kashuk Complete Eye Brush Set. I used this in my last tutorial. I'm really, really liking these products. So, well, these brushes. So I clean them off and I sanitize them with my e.l.f. So we're gonna be using their crease brush. I really love these. Guys, you can get them at Target. It's like a little bit dense, so it's really easy to move the product. I'm loving these. These, all of her brush sets are 25% off right now at Target. So if you're looking for a brush set and you need something that's really good, go over to Target and grab her sets because I'm loving these brushes. By far the best ones I've gotten 
like since I started this YouTube thing. These are like some of the best. All right, so let's go in on the crease here. We're just gonna go in with this mauve color right here, just to set, put some color down. It's like a mauve purple. Tap it off. So they are a little bit, um, like, uh, it's a little bit of fallout in the pan, but nothing crazy. Wow. Guys, that was one brush down the color. Do you see how pigmented this is? Let me zoom you in so you guys can see what we're doing. Look at this. That is super pigmented for one brush down the color. Holy crap. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, so to deepen up that crease, we're gonna go in, let's see. We're gonna go with this deeper purple right here. This one right here because it is still matte. We're gonna keep it matte inside the crease here. That's really pretty. It's kind of like neon, um, like a neon purple. Look at how pigmented that is. Wow, that's a beautiful. All right, so what I like to do when I'm doing my crease is I put some here so it all flows together. Look at how gorgeous that is, guys. And then I finish it along the crease. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. <gasps> wow, do you guys see how pretty that is? We're gonna make it even more darker. That's beautiful. Do you guys see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh. It's so pigmented, it's gorgeous. All right, so let's do this eye first and then I'll do the other eye. So we're gonna use this other brush here from the same palette, um, eyeshadow set. And this is another like a flatter brush, more precise for the lid. And we're gonna take, mm, going in on the outer lid. I think we should do a little pop of blue in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this um, purple right here, this shimmery purple, deep, beautiful purple here on the outside. We're gonna do the outside of the lid, the inside of the lid with this gorgeous, um, like neon-y, light, shimmery purple. And then in the center for a halo look, we're gonna go in with this blue. We're going crazy today, guys. So what I want to do is I want to wet my brush. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Cucumber Primer Water Spray just to wet the brush, just in case. Let's bring that down. Just because it's shimmery and I don't know how the formula is going to be. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh. Oh. oh my god, it's gorgeous. did get a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. Just brush it away, no worries. 
This is gorgeous. Holy shit. Guys, do you see this? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a clean brush and just blend that together so we don't have any harsh lines. And then underneath, we're gonna take some of this blue. That is beautiful. All right, so we're gonna take this little brush here, more precise. We're gonna take this white at the end, shimmery white. Pop that here in the corner. Wow, do you see this, guys? That is a beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that it's like subtle. It's not too crazy. It's like just the right amount of blue. So I'm gonna finish up this eye and then we'll check out that eyeliner that I'm really excited to try out with you guys. All right guys, so this is the finished eyeshadow look, which I'm absolutely digging. So it definitely had a little bit of fallout as far as formula. I know that some of you guys don't like when there's fallout, but it can be a little difficult when you have darker colors like this. Um, it definitely gave a little more fallout in the pan, but as you can see, really only the white one here left like a dent, I guess, when I did the inner corner, but everything else um, pretty much stayed like perfectly. So really the blue is what gave me the most fall out underneath, but I just took my brush and wiped it away. I really like the way this came out. The colors are super pigmented, super easy to work with. They blend out very easily. Um, definitely, you need to definitely buff the colors because they're so deep and beautiful. So um, just think it's gonna take a little bit longer to do your eyeshadow when you do colors like this, but it's totally worth it. Worth it. So let's go in and try this eyeliner. I'm psyched about this. So bear with me, it's very hard to do eyeliner on camera. I'm not liking this at all. It's super dry, it's not even like coming off on my eye like at all. It's really hard to make the um, eyeliner, it's horrible. Okay, forget that guys. We're gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny um, Eyeliner and it's just a pencil. It's very thin and easy to work with. So I finished up my eyes. I put on my Salon Perfect 614s. These are the first time I tried these out and I really, really like them. You guys know that I use my Ardell's and Kiss a lot. I've never tried Salon Perfect. So I really like how wispy these are and I feel like it really brought the look together. So, girl, you already know. I really like them. It's been a while since I put on some um, eyelashes, so it feels good to kind of be all glammed up. All right, guys, so we're gonna go into that Rimmel Brow This Way fiber pencil. We're gonna try it out. This pencil, do these brows. I'm gonna zoom you in so we can see. And let's see if this works. It's very pointy. All right, so what I'm doing is I have the Sonia Kashuk um, eyebrow pencil. It has one side for precision and then a spoolie. So I'm just gonna take the spoolie and we're just gonna brush the hairs where we want them.
So I'm really liking the way this is coming out so far. The pencil and the formula is a really, really easy to use. Um, I noticed on the other brow pencil that I used like this, I think it was Wet n Wild, um, it really didn't give me this like natural look and it didn't let me make my hairs the way this pencil is letting me do. Um, the color is absolutely perfect. I really like the way it's so easy. Um, the pencil is really nice. It's smooth. It's not too creamy. Um, it really is perfect for a pencil. I really, really like this. Um, it was easy to make the front here. So the next step is to take your spoolie and kind of just make sure everything looks very natural. So we bring the spoolie through the hair. So we get all of it going one way. Perfect. Just like that. I really, really like this. And as you can see, as far as like shape goes, like honestly, I'm really not gonna have to clean them up so much like I have to do with when I use like pomades because with pomades, it's harder to make your brow shape, so it kind of like gets a little sloppy, like um, making like really straight lines and outlining the brows. But because this is a pencil, it made it very easy to make the brow. Now, as you can see, this is before. You see how there's barely any hair, it's very sparse, and this is after. You can definitely see the difference in both of those brows. So I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So far, so good. I really like this. So Rimmel, I think that this is an A+. We'll see how it is after I sweat and everything at the gym, if they move, if they sweat off. But first impression, I really, really like this. I would purchase this again, for sure. So. That should tell you something, right? <laughs> so let me finish up that other brow and then we'll get going. Right, so now that we got both those eyebrows done and I'm absolutely loving it, I really, really like the formula, guys. Um, so far, the only thing I really didn't like was this eyeliner. Horrible. It was dry. Really, really horrible. Do not waste your time buying this Rimmel Scandalous, no, Scandal Eyes. Um, eyeliner because you're gonna waste your money. Um, all right, guys, so let's get to this base. All right, guys, so remember I mentioned that we're gonna use some Wet n Wild stuff. So this is the only thing Wet n Wild I got. It's absolutely new. It has the new sticker on it, and this is in the color Earth. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar. And this is what it looks like. I think it is so freaking cute. Look at this. So this is in the color Earth. It is definitely on the gold side. It's gorgeous. It actually has embossed in it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, maybe, but like in this semicircle, it has all of the different um, zodiac signs, like their pictures, like Gemini, Taurus, Libra, everything. All of them, all 12. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah, like that maybe. Goes like this in a semicircle. And it's like white and gold, like OMG. Do you see this? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Look at it on my hand. Hope you guys can see it. So beautiful. Wow. So I really, really like this. Um, as far as bronzers go, we're gonna be using the Rimmel London Radiance Brick Multi-Tonal Shimmer Powder. For the spring, summer months, I like to use bronzers with a little bit of sheen, shimmer in them. I think that it gives that really gorgeous glow without being too much. So this is what it looks like. I got it from Walmart. I hope you guys can see it with my lighting but I like it because look at all like the colors that come inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see this little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not too much. And it starts with like a lighter bronze color and it goes all the way down to deep. And I got the medium um, bronzer. And then for blush, cause you guys know I'm digging the coral, I got the Rimmel Maxi Blush Powder Blush. So it looks like this. Open it up, it's just a really pretty, 
coral color, and this is in Sweet Cheeks, which I think is um, really, really fitting for the look we got going on. So let's go ahead and bronze up these cheeks with our Radiance Brick. I think the, the name is so cute too. So we're gonna use the BH Cosmetics number three brush. It is on an angle. And I'm just gonna bring it through all the colors. Why not, right? Just to kind of get everything. Tap it off. Let's see. Okay, so that is absolutely beautiful. It's a definitely a warm bronze color. That is so beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. That is so pretty, guys. Do you see this? Wow. My hair is getting in the way. Wow, I think this is perfect for the spring and summer because it's such a warm, gorgeous bronze. It's like the perfect tone. Especially like when you get that like tanned look, this is gonna give you just the right amount of warmth on the face to make you look gorgeous. And of course, you guys, you can take this bronzer and you can go a little lighter handed than I went and definitely do a subtler look, but I really like to bronze up the cheeks. That's my ish. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush from BH Cosmetics. This is number five brush. Looks like this. This is from the Weekend Festival 10-piece um, brush kit. And I'm just gonna take this down the darker side of the bronzer. And we're gonna take it and contour the nose because you know after all the powders and everything, our cream contour tends to kind of, you know, like lighten up and I wanna make sure our nose is snatched. So taking this, I'm gonna go down. take that same number five brush and we're gonna contour using the dark part of that bronzer. Now, we're gonna hit some blush. I'm just gonna use my big brush, dip into our blush here. Not too much, because I don't know how pigmented it is. And first, I'm just gonna tap. Wow, that is so beautiful. Look at that coral, guys. It matches perfectly with the bronzer and what we're going for today. Do you see how it just gives you that pretty flush? And it's not too much. I feel that like colors like this are the closest thing you get to a natural um, blush color. This is beautiful. And I always take some and just dab around just so everything matches. But look at how pretty. <gasps> I love that. That is so beautiful. This blush gets an A plus from me. It's gorgeous, really easy to blend out. The bronzer as well, beautiful. I love the color, I think it's gorgeous. Let's see now with the Wet n Wild highlighting bar. So I'm just using a little dome brush. We're gonna go down the highlight. You know Wet n Wild always kills it on their highlights, so let's see. 
Oh my god. Oh my gosh, guys, do you see this? That is beautiful. Look at that. And of course, you could build it up and make it even more beaming. But for one swipe, do you see how gorgeous that is? Oh my God. I'm in love. I'm in love. I think this is going to be my new favorite highlighter, guys. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. <gasps> It gives just the right amount of highlight. Beautiful. Oh my God. Let's see how it looks on the nose. Cupid's bow. Mm-hmm. On the chin. Wow. And it's definitely like a gold, really beautiful undertone. You know how sometimes gold um, highlighters, they have like different undertones. It's not gold all the time. Well, this one is true, light, gorgeous, like a champagne gold. That is beautiful. So we're gonna spray the face and then we're gonna go over the highlight and make sure that it stays before I put my lippy on. So I got a new e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. I wanted to try this out. You know that I love the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So I was like, let me see if this does the same thing. Cause then why would I go spend $30 when I could spend five, right? So this mist is a fine, clear setting spray, helps makeup stay put. Um, and control shine for beautiful looking skin infused with vitamin E, um, E, B, and Arctium Magus Root to help hydrate and soothe. Cool, so they have some hydrating in this even though it's a matte. Um, lightweight formula helps improve makeup wearability and prevent color from running or fading. All right, so I'm digging that. So let's see how it works. Smells good. Wow. So guys, I just set with the e.l.f. matte mist. Gonna take my beauty blender and pat so that when it dries, Everything dries in place where I want it to. This is so important to do, guys. If you don't do this, it's not going to set where you want it to. Okay, so honestly, without even re-putting on the highlight, do you see how the e.l.f spray didn't cover up the highlight, so we don't even need to reapply this. So let me finish up the lippy. We're just gonna go in. I bought this, which I'm really excited to use. This is the Lip Art Graphic from Rimmel. And this is Rosetto Liner and Liquid Lipstick, okay? So I got this in the color 760, and this is Now or Never. So, let's see. So you twist it open. Oh. Oh my gosh, how cool. So it comes out of the like color like this. So it looks like this, like the stick, right? And then it says a lip art, just like that. Then it has the color on here, now or never. And what you do is you twist off the black and it comes out like this. So the applicator is so thin that you can literally do a liner with this and then fill it in like a, like a, a lipstick. So let's try it. Wow, 
beautiful. So this is supposed to be an eight hour stay lippy and it was really, really easy to use. The formula is like creamy, but like it dries down to a mat. So it's like a satin mat. And I thought that this was perfect being that we had such bold eyes and like our coral. So I thought that this would bring the look all together. I was getting a purple that was gonna match exactly the eyes, but I said, this is a little crazy. <laughs> I can't do purple, purple, purple everywhere. So just to go on top of the lip, we're going to put a little bit of shine. Okay, girlfriend. So let's go over with our Milani lip topper. And this is in hypnotic lights. It looks like this. It's beautiful, they have so many different colors. So let's just put this just to give some pizzazz. Uh-huh. All right, girlfriend. All right, girlfriend. <laughs> All right, guys. So this brings us to the end of our video. This is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and all of our Rimmel and um, Wet n Wild and Elf products and Milani lip topper that we got to put on today. I have to say, in all, I loved pretty much all of the products. I love the way the brows came up, came out. I loved this bronzer, it's super warm, it's gorgeous. It was so easy to blend out. It's not too much, especially if you have a skin tone like mine. This is going to be perfect. And it literally was like $3. So honestly, you can't beat that. Um, I did not like the scandalized eyeliner, as you guys know. It was already dry, I just opened it, and it was not super pigmented in black. Um, it really was a dud. So. Don't even waste your money on it, guys. It's not worth it. Um, I really like the Lip Art Graphic Liner and Liquid. This is beautiful. They have so many colors from brown all the way to like coral, pink, um, purple, gray. They had so many colors. So this I would rebuy. I really, really like this foundation. I have to say, guys, what they say about this is so true. It doesn't feel like I have any makeup on my face. It feels so light. I love that it's a breathable and it lets my skin breathe so that it doesn't suffocate those pores. Um, so I have to say in all, that's definitely going to be a foundation that I'm going to be using on a daily basis for sure. Um, I will definitely let you guys know in the future, like if I continue to use it, And but like as of right now, I really, really like it. And I definitely think it's going to be one of my everyday foundations. Um, I really like this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I have to say, honestly, it shocked me. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. It really is freaking amazing. It's really hard for me to find matte um, primers that don't dry me out. Cause I have like that normal to dry skin. I get very dry around the nose area. And literally it's hard for me to wear matte things cause it dries me out even more. But literally this was like, I do like 10 steps in primers to get to this one item that did everything in one step. It's controlling my shine, it is closing my pores, minimizing them, which it absolutely did. Usually I have really big pores in this area and you cannot see them whatsoever, so that's a freaking A+. I would most definitely recommend this, guys. This is amazing, you have to go get this. And the foundation. Um, I think it's a great mix. I absolutely loved the Wet n Wild highlighter bar. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. They had a bunch of different um, colors. You know, this was Earth. So they have like air, water, you know, some other ones. So I like this one because I'm a Gemini. So you know, I had to go with that one. Um, I'm really digging the Maxi blush. 
This was literally the last one in Walmart of this color, Sweet Cheeks. I love this. They had four other colors there in Walmart though, so I really, I'm gonna go back and get another color. I like that it's very subtle. It gives you that gorgeous flush without being too much. So this is really a beautiful blush and I'm really, really digging it. Um, then as far as, let's see, the Matte Magic Mist and Set from e.l.f. I really like this. It definitely mattified the face without drying it out. As you can see, my face does not look dry. It looks just perfect. Set, everything is matte, everything's in place where I want it. Um, I literally have the same feeling on my face that I feel when I spray the All Nighter Urban Decay. This is so much cheaper. So I really, really like the way this um, is coming out and the way this looks. So, so far, so good. I'll continue to use this so I can give you guys like an overall and how it like worked over a few days and things like that. I'm going to the gym later. I'm going to get my hair done after this. So we will see if my makeup stays exactly where I put it and if this really is gonna do what it says it's gonna do. Um, I mean, granted, the primer says it's gonna hold the makeup as well. The foundation's supposed to be long wearing. The lippies supposed to be long wearing. Um, so we will see. Right, so, and then um, last but not least, our Magnifies uh, Violet Electric Violet Edition. I love this palette. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's a great addition to your makeup collection because a lot of um, different palettes that I have right now for eyeshadows, I didn't have all of these different kinds of purple. And I know Morphe just came out with a purple palette as well, um, which maybe I will try that out for you guys soon. But I have to say, for $8.99, 12 shadows, I think this is a freaking steal. I love the way it came out. They blended very easily, mattes and shimmers. The formula is great. You don't get a lot of fallout. I did get a little bit with the blue under the eye, but um, nothing too crazy that you can't fix. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys about the Stay Matte Concealer. Definitely full coverage. I really, really lo like the way it brightened up the center of the face and under the eyes. I think it really did what it said it was going to do. This is in the Stay Matte line as well. Um, so I really, really like this. Overall, guys, I think that everything was an A+, guys, except for that liner, which was a total F. But everything else was really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I love you guys. And have a good day. Bye.